Many people come with an impression that cancer is one disease and that chemotherapy is one type of treatment. Uh, we know that that's not the case. Um, and let's talk today about how the treatment for colon cancer differs from treatments for some other common cancers. The treatment for colon cancer is very specific uh, because we choose drugs that are active only for colon cancer um, cells um, and uh, we use a number of chemotherapy drugs and we also use some of the newer drugs called targeted therapeutics or biological therapies to treat colon cancer. Uh, there are probably at least four or five different chemotherapy cocktails or combinations that we use for colon cancer and each one is a little different. Uh, and we try to select the best one for individual patients based on their stage of disease, their risk factors, and their other medical conditions that may interfere with the treatment effectiveness. Let me give you an example. Um, patients with um, cancers such as uh, blood and bone marrow cancers, leukemias and lymphomas often receive treatments over a period of several weeks and some of the chemotherapy treatments require hospitalization for, for weeks uh, at the time. They usually have significant hair loss and uh, they have to be on uh, some of the uh, blood transfusions and other I intense therapies during that time. For colon cancer patients, all of the treatments are outpatient. So it's usually in and out uh, in the clinic uh, and there's usually about two to three week interval between individual treatments. Uh, and I would say in general terms, patients usually don't lose hair, although there are some treatments for colon cancer where hair loss could happen. Um, and I would say a lot of patients could continue with their normal lifestyle and I had quite a few patients that continue to work full time while they're receiving therapy for colon cancer. For an interactive tool to learn more about your colon cancer and your personalized treatment options, go to mycoloncancercoach.org.